I'm heading out this morning for the far side of the world. Welcome to Istanbul, Turkey. Here, overlooking the confluence of the Sea of Marmara, the Golden Horn, and the Bosphorus Strait, sits Topkapi Palace. Built by Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror after he took Istanbul in 1453, Topkapi was the home of the Ottoman sultans and the seat of Ottoman power until Sultan Abulmesed I built his new palace further up the Bosphorus in the mid-19th century. It is here that we find the sultan's harem. Now, for Westerners, the word harem conjures up visions of beautiful concubines lounging in exquisite luxury and attending to the whims and desires of the sultan. But in reality, the harem is much more than this. The Arabic word harim refers to a private and inviolable place, somewhere the family can go to relax and refresh themselves, insulated from the cares or concerns of the world. The harem itself is luxurious, as befits the importance of those living here. Doors of exotic hardwood inlaid with mother of pearl. Fixtures of marble and gold. Magnificently tiled rooms furnished with thickly padded couches. Wonderfully decorated windows of crystal and glass. Young girls from all over the empire would be brought here to live. But contrary to our Western view of life in a harem, it would have often been considered a blessing to be selected as an odalesque. The girls brought here received a level of education which otherwise would have likely not been available to them. They would be taught to read and to write, to play music, and would learn the intricate rules of etiquette and protocol. They lived in opulence, guarded and served by hundreds of servants, many of whom were eunuchs brought from Africa. Of the many dozens of women here, only a select few were chosen as concubines for the sultan. And of those few, fewer still would be selected as wives of the sultan and allowed the honor of bearing a royal prince or princess. Those not so selected would, after nine years, be given a set of diamond earrings and a ring a trousseau, a portion of gold as a dowry, and found a suitable husband. And given the education, abilities, and discretion gained from their years in the harem would have been highly prized as wives. Today, the harem is the highlight of any visit to Topkapi Palace. The rooms and courtyards are wonderfully preserved. An entry to the harem is strictly limited and controlled in order to keep it this way for many generations to come. Visit the website www.smallplaces.org or email jim at smallplaces.org. Until next time, travel safe.